North Fork YouTube channel. Yeah, so what we'll be shooting at today is this uh, bone that we've uh, put into ballistic gelatin. So we're gonna put this one at the front, like so. And then uh, hopefully the bullet will pass right through the bone. We'll see what happens uh, to the bullet as it hits the bone. And then uh, if everything goes well, we'll be able to catch the bullet either inside the gelatin or inside the, the backstop we have, which is uh, compressed sawdust. Sju hundra fem fyra, seven hundred and fifty-four meters per second. So we have the we found the bullet back here, traveled through almost through the two blocks, and looking here at the, as you can see, it's uh, blown up the bone, but it's gone straight through without too much damage. We'll have to dig it out and check, but uh, I think that's looking looking good. Okay, so here we have the results uh, of uh, the first two bullets we shot. Um, as we showed you, we have the, the North Fork bullet. It's uh, back here. It's about 87 centimeters into the block. And uh, the second bullet we shot, uh, was uh, the horn of the interlock, 165 grain, and uh, as you can see, it has made it not even 20 centimeters. Uh, certain fragments of the bullets, you can see here, there, there's nothing left to the bullet. I, I don't know if it's even possible to, to measure anything, it's just basically completely fragmented. Uh, and what you can see here is, is a very large cavity where the bullet has basically exploded maybe 10 12 centimeters into the block, which, uh, yeah, it's not ideal performance. And, and that's after hitting the, the heavy bone. So here we can clearly see how hitting something hard uh, will impact bullet performance dramatically. Okay, so now we have the results of the of another bullet we shot. So this time it was the 180 grain Nosler ballistic tip, which uh, same setup, it hit the bone at the front and then it went into the, to the ballistic yell at the rear. And, and as you can see, there is uh, quite an explosive uh, effect on the bone. And if we come a bit closer, we can see that the bullet has again, completely fragmented and uh, created, it's, it's made it further than the, than the, the Hornet interlock for sure maybe we're talking about 30 centimeters of penetration but the bullet has again completely disintegrated and you can actually see the the base of the bullet has separated and the parts of it have just made it everywhere inside the gel so again we see what happens when you have a soft bullet um, hitting something hard uh, most of them will just fragment in this manner uh, we shot it out of the 38 Winchester at uh, 750 meters per second, so it's uh, it's not a not an extreme speed in any way. Yeah, so here we have the results of the Lapu Omega, which is a 185 grain bullet going at 732 meters per second. So again, not extreme speeds. It's hit the it's hit the bone, gone straight through. But uh, as we see again, the bullet has fragmented almost immediately after hitting the, the big block of gel. We can see there are several large pieces of it. There's th this might be the shortest penetration uh, of all the bullets. We're talking about at the most 10 centimeters that uh, the very base of the bullet has made it. So as, as you can see, this is, this is what happens when bullets um, hit something very hard and uh, they aren't able to stay together. Um, you're not going to have any penetration. and uh, and not very good terminal performance either. So let me flip this over. You can have a look. So here is the, the bullet's gone in. Uh, it's uh, hit the bone, but as you can see, it's, uh, it's just fragmented immediately afterwards. And uh, yeah, it hasn't made it more than 
yeah, 13 centimeters, uh, the base of the bullet has made it in, but, but most of it is, is within five centimeters. So again, if this was a, a boar, a wild boar you're shooting at, who knows what might have happened. This, this is certainly not what you want uh, your hunting bullets to do, uh, unfortunately. Okay, so we managed to, to dig uh, pieces of the interlock out. Here is the, here is the base, as you can see, and uh, basically all the lead has uh, completely separated uh, from the jacket. Here's another piece of the jacket and uh, yeah tiny tiny pieces of the jacket they're just everywhere here in the in the gel. So again yeah the bullet is making it a couple of inches after hitting the bone but it's basically just completely disintegrated and uh, yeah so that's not a lot of penetration at all. Um, okay so we're looking at another piece and uh, uh, yeah here's the base of another bullet if you look, um, um, so yeah, uh, you can compare. You have the the two traditional sort of uh, non-bonded uh, lead bullets. This is what's going to happen after they hit uh, after they hit a bone, and uh, these are the North Fork uh, bullets. Uh. Hello and welcome back to the results of our ballistic tests. So we've now been out shooting. Yep, and uh, we have the results. Yeah, it looks like that. Yeah, sounds a little bit like the European Song Contest. Like that. <laughs> now we have the results. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we have the um, we have the results, and uh, first of all, I wanted to say I think both of us were surprised by some yeah, things. Yeah. Uh, because this soft bullet is really popular for many hunters. Yep. And I, I've used with, them. With this result, it's a little bit remarkable. Mm. As you said, like that. You could say that. Yeah. Um, and I think. Um, the way the bullets performed, we didn't expect them to perform quite the way they did. No. Uh, right? And, and we'll cover that uh, in detail as we go through their results. But uh, as, as we were doing this, and I think as you can see in the videos, we didn't quite know what was going to happen. Uh, no. It's, yeah, like I said, remarkable. Remarkable, yeah, yeah. for sure. Okay, so let's, let's, uh, like that. let's talk about the results. Let's remind yeah. the, the viewers what we were doing first. So yep. we were shooting through, through... Clear ballistic gel from the beginning. Yeah, clear uh, ballistic gel? No, not clear ballistic from the US. We use uh, ballistic gel from Gelati from Germany, uh -huh. 10% yep. that is yeah, known to be as tissues. Good approximation like of the yeah, tissue. Yeah. Yeah. You can say like that. Uh, so we're and shooting through the, the only the gel yes, first. To see how they open. And then we're shooting yeah. through, the, through the bone. Yeah, the bone structure. Uh, and as we said, this is uh, this was sort of the worst case scenario test. Yeah. Like what really happens when the, the rubber meets the road. Yeah. The bullet meets the bone. Yeah. So yeah, let's uh, let's go through the results. Yep, we do, we do. Uh, let's see. First out, we had the the North Fork. Yeah. Right. The North Fork looked like this from the beginning. The 180 grain SS. And the one we shot in the 308 Winchester mm -hmm. looked like this after. You can see in the bullet, it's, it's a pretty hard uh, bone. Pretty hard, when yeah. When you hit it, so yeah, yeah it's tear up, even not for a little bit. Yeah. And we had a weight retention of uh, 124.36 grain, yeah. which equates out to about 69%. 69%, yeah, mm -hmm. for the North Fox. And this penetrates. 84 centimeters. Yeah, that was like 30 inches. 30, yeah. 33 inches, I think 30, we counted. Was it? Yeah. yeah. So we like had it. two uh, two blocks. Yeah. And they were each about 45-ish uh, centimeters. Yeah, something like that. And yeah, 45 the, centimeters. this bullet went through the first one. It went through the bone. Yeah. Went through the first block, and then it was almost through the, the, the second, second block. block. Also. Yeah. Which uh, so that's a lot of penetration. Even after getting massively yeah. beat up yeah. by the by the bone, yeah, and totally straight penetration through yeah. the bone, both of the yeah. the ballistic uh, blocks. And so uh, we were shooting it at, at. Let me look at my sheet sheet. Uh, we were shooting it at uh, twenty four seventy three. Yeah. So two thousand four hundred twenty three feet per second. That's uh, seven hundred fifty four meters. Yeah. Pretty Just standard. Pretty standard. Yeah, like a normal velocity yeah. for a three oh eight. Yeah. And we shoot this in. This is the V zero. And we shoot in 80 meters. Yeah, 80, about 90 80. yards. Yeah, a little bit less, I think. But yeah, something like that. 85, 90 yards. Then it hits the bone. Yeah. yeah. 
Cool. Okay, so let's uh, move on to the to the other. To the second, yeah, and yeah. that was the Hornet interlock with the ring. The bird looks like this from yeah. the beginning. The pieces we found, and you see a little bit of the scrap here. Um, we look at the base and see the ring here. So this is the pieces we could find. Yeah, and that is the base. And the, the mantle. And the mantle. But there's base, virtually yeah. no lead yeah. left. It's the, the jacket. Yeah. yeah. It's only the copper jacket, and this one is 29.7 grain. Yeah. That's about 18% uh, weight retention. So 18% went to weight retention, and it's went in around 7 inches, or 18 centimeters into the ballistic gelatin after it hits the leg. But that is just so uh, sort of this piece, making it... Uh, in. Yeah, Most of it's gone by the time it's past the bone. Yeah, it's just getting a really, really huge cavation, um, yeah. like seven inches into the animal. So um, it's not a lot at all. Yeah, and especially, um, yeah, yeah. So that was, uh, that was uh, the, the one. And we shot it at, let's see, the velocity we had uh, uh, 2,558 uh, feet yeah. per second out of our, out of our 308 Winchester. Yeah. So again, a very normal sort of standard standard speed, yeah, something like that. Bullet, yeah. And of course, it's a 165 grain bullet, so it's a little bit faster than the 180s. Mm -hmm. So uh, okay. Let's the second the bullet yeah. was the ballistic. No, it was the no, um, Nosler ballistic, Nosler tip. ballistic yeah. tip. And we also found a piece here. Again, it's the the, the base. It's, it's the base it's the jacket here. Yeah. And no lead. And is no lead at all yeah. in this one. And uh, yeah, what did we have? Uh, you want to weigh it? This one is 49.42. And that is, uh, yeah, I have all of these written up, so we're not doing the math on the fly. Uh, but let's see, that's 27.5% yeah. weight retention. And this one, he, going a little bit further, it was 11.5 inches into the ballistic yell. Yeah, so that was the, the yeah. furthest penetration yeah. we saw. In the soft one. Um, so that was 11.5 and, and what, did the, what did the North Fork 180 do? So it's making around 33 yeah. inches. So uh, Size, uh, it's a little bit different. Uh, yeah, so this, yeah. Uh, this didn't make it through the, the first block. So we, as we said, we had two blocks. Yeah. This one made it quite far into the first block. Yeah. But it didn't. Uh, didn't a little bit over the second. half. Yeah. But that's some, some pieces. Not the bullet. Yeah, exactly. And this yeah. is, uh, as you can see in the, in the videos uh, from the tests, uh, what, what happens uh, to these soft bullets is that they, they sort of explode when they hit the bone. Yeah. Then you have the, the pieces, Coming usually in, the, yeah. the base, making it the furthest yeah, uh, yeah. into the gel. So, so it's not a lot of weight uh, that's being carried through the bone and into the gel. Actually, the, no. the weight that's making it into the, into the gel behind the bone is... is uh, that's kind of what we're talking about yeah. here when we're weighing that. These the small fragments only coming like a couple of inches into the ballistic gelatin. Yeah. So. Uh, and as you can see here, we have uh, we have uh, quite a lot of uh, fractured bone, and uh, digging through these uh, bone shards, we see these pieces of lead, pretty much everywhere embedded with the with the bone. Yeah. So so a lot of this getting caught caught in this in the in the bone. Yeah. Yeah. And the last one. In this test was the mega and this was a really surprising thing because yeah we both said before we did the test we thought yeah th this is this is gonna go quite, quite yeah uh, quite well we said it should go into the second block into the second block mm. yeah exactly that's what we thought and uh, this one we only find a small small piece of jackets and again it's just the base it's, the it's thin just base. the base here it's yeah. really really thin yeah and and I need to remove this one. And the weight of this one is 18.34. Yeah, that's less than 10%. Yeah, because this bullet is 185 from the beginning. Yes, and, and penetration, two and a half inches. Yeah, it's almost non-existent. <laughs> yeah. It's, no, it's like this. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I so, and that, and that was the, this jacket piece. Yeah. The, the, the other one they didn't, yeah, the most of this bullet don't even go behind the leg. No, it gets stuck. That, that is gets really caught in the bone. Uh, performance fragments. of this one. Because it's a really popular bullet in, in Scandinavia. 
Yeah. And um, and I've used it as I said at the, yeah. at the beginning. I've used this uh, this goes a lot in in six point five, and uh, I was happy with the performance, but it was quite uh, quite a mean bullet. Yeah. Right. We we call them mean bullets in Sweden when a bullet creates a lot of uh, meat damage, and this is. Uh, uh, yeah, and I think we can see sort of why yeah. uh, this happens. And of course, if you shoot this one, I really like to eat the meat from the animal I hunt. Mm. And um, if you have this fragment in the legs here or the bone structure with all the with the lead, mm. of course you have all the lead in the meat as well. And yeah, yeah you gotta shoot got away. Is, uh, yeah, lead thing is not so idea, yeah. not so nice. So uh, that was, I think, the most remarkable results here. Yeah, the surprise. Um, but e even even the other bullets like seven ten inches penetration yeah. uh, if you have a big bore and you shoot uh, it on the on the shoulder and you shoot on the shoulder you Why have not? this big bore with this uh, bone structure outside the you, brosk right the brosk uh, yeah the gristle is it called in english yeah i think so yeah, yeah. you will not even f reach the vital organs no exactly and that yeah. that's that sort of the worst case scenario uh you hit the you make a good hit yeah you don't know it's right on the shoulder and then you know that you don't get the animal no uh, yeah so and then of course if you're going for a hunt and you pay a lot of money for it you shoot the animal and you don't get it it's yeah like we even gone to poland for, yeah for boar yeah. hunting right yeah. and and that's not a cheap no 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 it's uh, not cheap thing so, to do uh, so yeah you, you want to be sure yeah right so i, th I hope you guys uh, found that uh, interesting we certainly found it interesting and uh, we learned a lot doing yeah. this yeah and we're gonna do more of these in the future yeah now we will load up some new bones in the ballistic elephant mm -hmm. and we will take some of the bonded bullets and make new tests yeah and compare them and see how they work uh, in the same way yeah. ballistic gelatin first then with a hard bone, bone yeah to see how they perform and um, we really hope you enjoyed our video and mm -hmm. subscribe for our YouTube channel so you don't miss any of the upcoming events Com Com absolutely and uh, if you are uh, interested in information about us or our products uh, please visit our website uh, northbrookbullets.com and um, if you have any questions don't hesitate to contact us uh, drop us an email or use the contact form on the website and yeah thanks uh, thanks for watching we'll see you in the next one and yeah. uh, happy hunting guys north fork youtube channel forkbullets.com